Today I want to share a few things that you should know about using Live View and Flash. One of the reasons why I switched from Canon to Sony is Sony's phenomenal live view uh, functionality, which allows me to see my shot before I actually take the shot. However, if you are new to flash photography or just new to using flash on a Sony camera using live view, there are a few quirks about working with live view and flash that you need to be aware of to get the results that you're looking for. Now, that's not to say that there is a flaw in live view. It's just that you need to understand that the workflow is very different, particularly if you're working from a Canon or a Nikon system or other camera brand. When you introduce flash, live view cannot predict what you're attempting to accomplish with that flash. Today, I'm gonna to share with you two different workflows that I use depending on the type of flash or trigger that I'm using on the camera. The first workflow is using flashes and triggers that don't use the multi-interface foot. The second workflow I'll be sharing is when I use flashes and triggers that use the multi-interface foot which has these special pins designed specifically for the Sony line of cameras. So first, let me walk you through how I would use a non-MIS flash or trigger with Live View. In this shoot, what I want to do is to reduce the ambient light, um, basically completely blacken out the background. And then what I'll do is add flash to light the subject. The problem here is that I won't be able to see anything to focus on. And as I'm pressing the autofocus, you can see that it's very difficult to acquire focus. Without the multi-interface pins, the camera has no idea that the flash or trigger is actually attached to the camera. To work around this issue, I go into the menu to the gear icon on the third page and I turn off the live view setting. What you'll notice now is that the LCD actually will lighten up the image. However, notice that uh, if you look at the camera meter, it still says that I'm underexposed as indicated by the minus two. This is actually what I want. And now when I press the shutter, you'll see that my subject is lit the way I want it. And the little bit of spill from the flash onto the wall brings back some of the background, but still maintaining that low key look that I was looking for. So now I'm going to be using the Godox X1T trigger, which has the multi-interface foot, to fire my streak light. First, I make sure that my live view is on, and I want to set my ambient exposure. Again, blocking out the background entirely. Only after I've set my ambient exposure will I then turn on the trigger. As you can see that once I turn on the trigger or a flash, Sony's 
logic automatically brightens the image for me on the back of the LCD screen. Again, note that the camera is showing that the image is underexposed with the negative two. The big difference using flashes and triggers that have the multi-interface foot is that you don't actually have to turn live view off. You can keep live view on, you're able to focus, but again, you just need to understand that what you see on the back of the screen is not exactly what you'll get. While the behavior of live view seems a bit odd when you introduce flash, especially when you've come from another camera system, it can be a little frustrating, but I guarantee that with a little bit of practice, you'll actually find that live view makes shooting with flash even easier. So I wanted to mention one more thing. When using built-in flash, like that found on the A6000 or A6300, you'll see that it has the very same effect as if you were using an external uh, multi-interface uh, foot um, type flash. So here, I've got a accurate exposure using Live View. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna black out the background similar to what I did with the photo shoot. And then once I pop the flash open, it's this very same effect. The LCD lights up, you'll see that the camera is still showing that I'm underexposed. Again, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you found this useful. As usual, feel free to hit me up with some questions, comments, or suggestions. Thanks.